surrounding us. We're, we've created a space, a living space, at least urban-wise, that has no more, the people are not being tuned by these naturally occurring frequencies. We're now being tuned by radio broadcast. And what does that so mean? What does that you mean You lay now? down at night and you try and quiet your mind, the stress you're feeling, although a lot of it's due to financial problems and geopolitical problems and whatever else you got going on in your life, on top of that, we're, you're still laying in bed, being tuned away from sleep. We evolved, we, we handled the electrical current in the walls fairly well. Then we added the wireless home telephone networks, which are broadcasting all night, many people having them on their side table next to their bed. Um, and now we've got cellular masks everywhere, even parked on rooftops of domestic homes, um, apartment buildings, and you can't escape it. So what the Earth Pulse does is create a low frequency, ultra low frequency, delta range frequency, and it's like a laying in a cocoon because your body is tuned to that rhythm coming from underneath your mattress. Much like you have two stereos in the house and they're on an equal volume, it depends where you are, closer or further away, which radio you hear until you get to a point where all you hear is the one that's close to you. And that's the analogy with how the earth pulse creates a frequency pulse that your body locks into, your neurological system's most sensitive antenna in the world, and it drags your rhythm, brain rhythm, your consciousness down toward a delta stage. Does that mean that we might be able to stay in delta longer or that delta function is more optimized? Am I asking the right questions? Yeah, I mean, basically you are, sure. Um, we have, I have survived since 2001 with the promise of better sleep and a 90-day money-back guarantee. Um, the device for probably 8 out of 10 people works right out of the box. Another 15% of the people, we do a little bit of fine-tuning in terms of magnet placement and such. If you're very, um, if you're very sensitive to things, you might even have it on the floor under the bed. You know, and this will handle two people in, in, in just about any side bed unless you sleep on opposite sides. There are magnetic beds in different parts of the world that are being made. How is this device distinct from the magnetic beds that are out in the marketplace today? Well, those are all static magnets, and a static magnet doesn't project far from itself. Even large ones, lar you know, the larger they are, the, the, the more the field extends out. But, you know, you get to a... Um, you get into a situation where you're dealing with unruly sized magnets and to get a field that you actually can lay in, not on. Because say, uh, you know, the, the, the Japanese style with all the small little 1,000 Gauss magnets spread on it. When you lay on that, the penetration is only an inch at best. You know, I mean, you can test it with a, um, a cheap compass. You take one of those small magnets and you hold it, you move the compass toward it. It doesn't affect the compass until you get very close to it. It won't pull the needle off of true north. Where with my device, you can be three feet away from, well, 18 inches away from it, and you can start seeing the flutter, the frequency that the output is, the little red light blinking. You can see the, the, the uh, compass needle start to react to it. So what's happening is when you pulse a, a, a magnetic wave, if it's a pure pulse, not a sine wave, when you pulse it, it extends into infinity. Of course, you can't measure it way out there, but it, does, it creates a, a, like a pressure wave, but it's a magnetic pulse. And it just so happens that the body's power generation system, the mitochondria, seem to react very well 
to the frequencies that make us sleep. So when you're laying on a magnetic pad type of thing, static, you've got a field effect where you're laying on top of this north pole field and then you're relying on a chain reaction within the cells from cell to cell to cell to cell to react. When you lay on my device and turn it on, it's going through your mattress, through your body, and out the other side. Would I feel it? No. Okay. But you do get sensations. Sensation of you'll, you'll it's uh, actually been termed the sighing response by uh, Reuven Sandike that developed the, the Parkinson's aspect of pulse magnetic fields. And where you just take a deep breath and you just, it just it's called sighing response. It's like he noticed when he turned the machine on that his, his patients would sigh, you know, at least 80% of them. So you get sensations like that. Or for me, when I first started using the device, I would feel my stomach gurgle. It was, it, I almost felt like my, my intestines were reshaping themselves. Do you plug it into the wall or it's just a standalone thing you put under your bed? Does it plug into anything? It plugs in the wall with a little cell phone looking charger thing. And it's DC from the wall outlet on. So it doesn't add any other electric fields to your room. Uh, the controller sits on your side table. And the magnet goes underneath your mattress whatever your mattress is made of. I mean, you can fit it in a sleep number bed. It's a little bit more of a hassle than any other type of mattress, but it'll work with anything, and particularly well with water beds, something to do with the water. I noticed that Robert O. Becker, M.D., really enjoyed your device. I wish he was with us to be on this call today. He was the author of The Body Electric, the groundbreaking book about how the body is, in fact, an electrical apparatus. We're one giant uh, battery, basically, self-regenerating. Um, yeah, well, you know, Bob and I, we had um, three meetings in the, the time that I was getting to know him. Um, you know, he was a thoroughly enjoyable old man. I'm very, very disappointed that the world didn't pick up with his research. Although a lot of doctors and holistic health care practitioners, dentists, really did read his book and... I think that book was the groundbreaking book for alternative medicine or vibrational medicine, really, in the world. Yeah, the, the, uh, the other book he did, um, I believe it predated that, was called Electromagnetism in Life. And um, that was written with Andrew Marino, uh, one of Becker's students. And that, um, I believe I've got that linked on my, off of my research page. The, the entire book it takes a little while to load, but you can read it in a PDF file on, on, off of the research section. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking with Paul Becker, the founder of Earth Pulse. He has created a biomagnetic device to help us sleep better. It's called the Sleep on Command Pulsed Electromagnetic Sleeping Machine. And I was wondering if you could share with the audiences different scenarios where people have used this machine. Like, do you have any athletes you can talk about or anybody who had insomnia? You may not be able to use their names, but at least you can share with us some different scenarios. Well, sure. I mean, I've, I've got, um, you know, some world record um, athletes. I've got um, some UFC fighters, um, one belt holder. Um, you know, the, the range goes from chess players to uh to golfers and and uh power lifters you know the the device because of its effect on the energetic quality of the cell and the recovery short term as well as long term um you know we see strength effects that really truly rival steroids um you know one power lifter who went from training with three fit you know this is a guy that, that set up his personal record at 600 pounds in the bench press but he used to train with 350 hanging from ankle the anchor um chain from the ceiling so as he extended the bar out it added weight to the bar so he went from training with 350 to 60 days later training at 450 for the same amount of reps and that's kind of routine 
You see it. We see a twenty percent bump in in 